Yes. Oh my goodness. I like <laughs> I like this. Okay. No, um we just I just woke up. Uh and I've been thinking about the concept of hater and I I wanted to see Oh, Bubby, can you can you continue help putting stuff away here, bud? Can you grab the stuff on the other side of the table? We're trying to clean up. Uh I'm trying to I need to get this. Okay. Maybe I just hold this. I'm going to hold this and see what that's like. Because sometimes I like to walk around. You know, I'm just going to hold this like this. You know what I'm saying? Now, sometimes I like to stand. Let's see. Okay. Now, I wanted to see. We got our uh, we got our spaceship right here. I just wanted to show you our spaceship. Bam. New Shepard right here. The f next New Shepard right there. Bam, son. No, so there's this thing, Dami, there's this thing called, there's this thing, <laughs> do you, do you see you? Do you see you? <laughs> no, okay, so here, I wanted to explain a concept to you guys. But give me one second, let me just try, uh, entertain me. I realize that this is you entertaining me because I know you don't care about what I'm saying right now. And, and it doesn't even really matter to a certain extent. Um, but I realized, you know, for every one person that complains about you, there's probably, <laughs> there's probably like a hundred people. All right. I'm just going to stop, bud. Can you finish picking up your stuff, please? Look, you have all these toys here that still need to go in the toy chest. Go ahead and grab those right there on the table. You know, you know, no, no, you know what I'm talking about. These toys go in the, grab the, grab that right there. Grab the car, the car too. Yeah, both of them. You have two hands. Use the other hand to grab the other one. There you go. Now put that away, please. Thank you. Um, we have fun, but you got to keep, we were trying to get, if we don't keep moving, we're not going to finish anything we got to do, right? So um, all I wanted to say to you was, I realized, I, I know I wanted to try to express this point uh, in words because I've been thinking about it, but I just, I need to translate it into actual language. Um, so I believe that for every one person that complains, you have probably a hundred, I don't know, depending on what field you're in. Uh, you know, it could be anywhere from 20% complaining and 80% satisfaction, right? Some places that's, that's acceptable. But I think in most cases you have, for every one person that complains, you have like 99 other people that think you're doing a great job. And what I realized is, so let's pretend that person that's complaining, let's just pretend that they're a hater or, you know, I love that word hater. But what I realized is the more people that hate on you, the more attention they're bringing to you. And if you're doing a good job in some areas, that's probably going to shine. That's probably going to shine. It might take time. And it might feel like you're just being, you know, treated unfairly. But I, I truly believe that everything, everything that goes in one direction will come back in the other direction. There's a balance to the universe. There really is. Um, and uh, I, sorry, I lost my point. I was trying to go some more with that. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it. Um, because there was, some, there was this direction that I was going to go. Oh, you know what? I, you know what I want to talk about is just understanding. Because I realize like you, anyone, everyone can watch something like an event. And we all take away something different. It's, it's kind of strange, right? Or we all look at something different. We all see, perceive things differently. And I think what the the worst thing is, is when you have, when you take a group of people who saw something and then you put them in a room together and then basically all their ideas start to become one because you have forces in that room that want their idea to be what happened but what we realize is if you just separate all those people and take them individually don't let them get into a group that's when you actually get real information I mean everyone who knows that you if you're at a if you're at a crime scene, you separate witnesses because you don't want their ideas being tainted by other people. So um, that's kind of where I was going at. Like, I don't know. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it because I want it to be concise. But as you progress through like 
the mindset of a person. Because I realized too, I'm like, you could, I could see an event. Like, I, for example, this is a perfect example. I, I could go to an event and be with another human being. And then I could see this person do this, do something that's just truly amazing that I've never seen anyone else do. And then afterwards, I could hear people talk about things that I didn't even think were worthwhile because if they're not positive, well, what's the point of even bringing it up? You know, so it just shows the mindset of different people and and why certain people. I don't know. Like, I'm going to work on it. It doesn't sound good right now. I'm going to work on it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Have a good day.